So, um, let's get down to business. Um, yeah. Um, so this new Resident Evil, like, movie reboot, they're trying to, like, are we jokes? Are we a joke to you? Am I a joke to you? Like, what is this? Like, the, okay, let, let's start with the ones that I'm not so upset about. Okay, let's let's start with those. So, um, this girl, I don't even remember what she's even in. I, I just see her and I'm like, okay, I remember you from somewhere. She's not very memorable. So it's just like, what are you going to bring to Claire's? Like, okay, they like... I don't understand. You've got money so much. I have to see the budget of this movie. I have to see the budget. I have to see the actual the actual number. Because how hard is it to literally look for someone on this green earth that looks similar to characters you are trying to portray? And I will always say this until the end of time. Ooh. You can, you've got eyes. Why, why is everyone so blind? Why is everyone so blind to not be able to be like, okay, the white, we need a white girl. We need a girl with some um, ombre hair. Okay, this girl. That's it. That's all you said. Now, let me get started on Claire. Um, Resident Evil Remake 2. Um, I considered it was a good game, but the designs were really bad. Terrible trash garbage. Sin dipped in misery. First of all, Claire's nose is not that bulbous. She has a very bulbous nose. And the only way it could be changed in the future for it to look like the skinnier nose that she has and she's always had is if she would have got a nose job in the future, which is so dumb. Just make her look the way she's supposed to look. Find a... Uh, actress who's got a very bulbous nose she just doesn't look like that she just doesn't I, I don't know what else to say um her eyes I guess she could wear contacts or whatever or you can change it digitally but I know you won't because you don't want to spend a single cent on making characters look like what they're supposed to if you're going to make it uh something that's already been in the situation like with the death note I'm working on a death note video because I'm watching it right now and the the Death Note movie on Netflix, ironically, is really horrible. And they switch everybody and change everybody to make everyone look like they never looked before. L, black, light, white. They were in Japan. And yeah, anyone can live in Japan, but he was native to Japan. You know how I know? Because he had a, a regular average looking face. I will speak about this in my Death Note video, but in Death Note the um, anime, all the people who are from different country other than Japan look crazy. They look crazy and whack. The black people, the white people, the whatever, European people, they just make them look crazy as I don't even know. So Light Yagami is Asian. He's Japanese. But let me backtrack and talk about this Claire. Pretty bad looking face. Her face is really strange looking to be Claire. To be Claire. I don't, I don't care what she is in. She looks like she's from like a Victorian era. I don't know why you chose this woman to be Claire. But she's one of the better looking compared to everyone else. Let's go to her brother. Because I, I'm just with, with Jill and Leon. Y'all make me sick. Y'all just it's just hilarious. So you got this dude that looks kind of like Chris. I'm fine with this. I'm fine with him. Um, maybe he needs to like lift some weights or something. And this isn't body shaming a guy. You know what this is? This is this is the gig. So stop pretending like you don't know. Oh, what is Chris Redfield? Who knows? It's just a book. So we can. It's not a book. It's not a book that you can just, oh, well, maybe it's this. And even with a book, you have to look at descriptions. And I'm pretty sure it would have said he was muscular in whatever Resident Evil book they made. But since we've got a reference point, stop just plucking people out of your tush and just saying, yep, this is the person. Okay? Stop. So you could get someone that looks closer like Chris, but I'm fine with this dude. There's nothing really the matter. His hair is fine. His hairline looks a little strange, especially in this picture. Um, he's like when you go and look for people, 
Can you please just like take one second other than just like a millisecond that you did to look at them? Like, please, for the love of everything that is holy. He, his chin doesn't look that red, but maybe you can fix that. Maybe. And it's like, oh, there's no, nit- this isn't nitpicking. This is straight up. If you're going to give me something and expect me to use my money and, and watch it and stuff, you're going to have to come better. You need to come better. Let me talk about the people who I'm I'm just like this is um this is um this is um okay I have to talk about uh, like looking at them between the two most disgusting uh Jill Valentine you already have the incels upset at Jill Valentine being um having a skirt instead of a skirt so they don't look up her skirt and see nothing because they didn't animate anything. You you really did you did a number. When we say we want people who are black and media and stuff and actual be known other than the thugs and the people that are criminals and the people who are animals or anything like that or change color. We don't mean take something that already exists and switch ethnicities this girl is clearly something else i haven't looked anything up about these people this is first glance first come first serve situation with this video i don't know where she's from i've never seen her before if i have it was under prosthetics it was her voice i don't know what she sounds like she looks nothing like jill valentine her nose is far too big they she's just not the right ethnicity she's just not the right ethnicity and if you, you look at her, you can tell she is not white. Jill Valentine is white. I do not want a black Jill Valentine. I do not want an Asian Jill Valentine. I do not want a black Ada Wong. I do not want a Hispanic Asian Ada Wong. I want an Asian Ada Wong. I want a white Chris Redfield. I do not need a black Chris Redfield. I do not need a black or Arthur from the Arthurian lore. I do not need a Asian... Um, or Hispanic Claire Redfield. I need people to be who they were because we have a reference point. This is not a book. This is not somebody's imagination. This is something you can look back years and years of content from Resident Evil Zero to beyond to seven and see what these people look like, their ethnicity. This is unacceptable, and you did this on purpose. Just like when Mulan, they said, oh, it's because me too, we didn't, we didn't do what we were, we were supposed to do with Mulan, oopsies. So you got a place to put your anger other than putting it on the people who actually made the crap. You're going to be upset at women. Oh, look at the Mary Sue. Look at this. Look at, she ruins everything. No, you need to go talk to the people who are making this content and stop being mad at women. Stop being mad at black people. I don't know what she is. I'm not going to guess. But she is not white. And she definitely doesn't look like... Like, I was a little disappointed with the Jill Valentine face in RE3. But I was fine with it. I was far more fine with it than Chris. Chris in Resident Evil 7. I was, I was very upset with that face. I was upset with Resident Evil 2 Remake Leon and Claire face. Very disappointing. Very disappointing. This is unacceptable. You are switching ethnicities and then you're going to make incels and loser scumbags who want to watch this show and movie just as much as I do. And they're going to turn to whoever looks like this or the woman and maybe horrible things they're going to say or do. And that's because they're irrational. But you're really doing this. You're really setting us up. You're really setting women and ethnic women up to be the butt of jokes and issues in this situation. Resident Evil is a very coveted franchise. You've got the incels. You've got the scumbags. You've got the regular people. You've got the gamers. You've got the people who just watch the movies. And Jill was in that. And she was not ethnic she was anglo-saxon so when you do this it harms us it won't harm you as much it will harm us and it'll give additional for nerd for the nerd dude and all the other people to say 
get woke, go broke, get woke, get whack, go whack, go tack. Like, I really am sick of seeing half quarter of a man talk about how women are ruining everything and how the ethnic brown people are ruining everything really makes me sick. And you're just giving them ammunition for putting this woman, giving her this job when you could have give that, give this, this woman a different job and give her the money she deserves. Because as we see right now, this is not Jill Valentine, nor will she ever be Jill Valentine. The only way she could be Jill Valentine is if this is an animated series and her voice is being used only. Other than that, you guys have switched her ethnicity for the worst because we're going to get the back flack of it. Just like we got the back flack of men when you guys decided to animate a skirt on Jill Valentine. So when she crouched, you could not see up her skirt. This is what we're dealing with. So thank you so much for giving them yet another bullet for their chamber. The next person I'm going to talk about, which is disgusting, and yet another switcheroo, he looks Hispanic, um, Leon S. Kennedy. Do you know what the S stands for? I'm pretty sure it's Scott, not Salvador. This guy looks Hispanic, and isn't, isn't this dude from Victorious? Like, wasn't he the toxic relationship boyfriend with Jade? What on earth? He is not, he's not brown. I'm just here to tell you, I'm here to tell you, you guys messed up a long time ago. If you're trying to put all these black people and brown people and Hispanic people in your, in your game movie things, it's too late. They've already made these people 30,000 times with the same mode. It's the, it's always the same denominator. Their ethnicities have always been Anglo Saxon. Always. You cannot make these people Hispanic. You cannot make them Asian and you cannot make them black. You just cannot do this right now. If you want those people to have jobs, give them the correct job. Put re, make a make up something in your head. Stop taking these things like Death Note and Resident Evil and Silent Hill and all these things that we hold dear to our hearts and just switching everything up and putting things on its ear. That you know what that's for? That's for when you have your own ideas and you make your own movie and you can put different people as different ethnicities because this is 2020. Stop going back in time and taking things that have already been set in stone and then switching it up because it only hurts us. This is not representation for Hispanic people. This is ammunition for the incels and e-boys to be upset because they don't have their white knight, Leon S. Kennedy. They have the Hispanic knight, Leon S. Kennedy. Stop doing this. I don't know if he really is Anglo-Saxon. He looks like he's got some skin tone to him. I remember him looking like he was a little bit ethnic on that show. But I don't know. I didn't look up his ethnicity. I'm telling you what we're seeing. Because when you guys even putting this out here, you already set the precipice. You already know. Because if you really wanted us to get into this, You would have set out a trailer with everyone's voice just on a face, just on looking. He does not look anything like Leon S. Kennedy. There are like 30 different people that I can think of at the top of my head that would be a great Leon S. Kennedy. And I don't know how old they're supposed to be, but that dude who was on American Horror Story, who was the dude with the the dude on the, the face on the back of his head or whatever... He, he looks like Leon S. Kennedy. He's got the hairstyle. He's, sh- he's aimed a gun and I can see what he looks like aiming a gun. I think he is a Resident Evil fan because he, in American Horror Story Hotel, he was like John Lowe. And he looked like Leon S. Kennedy in his prime right then. This man looks nothing like Leon S. Kennedy. He's got baby cheeks. He has his eyes are too close together his nose is down too low it looks nothing like leonis kennedy 
Okay, now let me tell you about, like, okay, the, the Birkin, William Birkin, I don't know, just like I said, I don't know how old everyone's supposed to be, because um, William Birkin never got to live to old age, he died, a spoiler, if y'all are watching this movie, I'm pretty sure you guys have already watched, like, this, you did this for the fans, you did this so you could get fan money. Because you didn't put the precipice like, what is Resident Evil? We don't know. You just said, here's the cast. Here's the cast. Because this was for the fans who already know these people. Because what do we care about a cast if we don't know what Resident Evil is about? You gave us no context to these, to these characters. So I know it's for the people who already know. Can't fool me. But this guy who's William Birkin, he's old. He looks real old. I don't know if you're going to CGI him young when you could just get a young man to do it. He looks nothing like William Birkin. There was a picture I saw of him that looked similar. Like, okay, maybe he's kind of like William Birkin. But I think it was someone's rendition of what he may have looked like. I don't think it was really a picture of this guy. Um, you made him Anglo-Saxon. You just made him old. I don't know how old this dude is. I know he's not 30. Um, I know he's not 40. I think and then the worst of it all the worst like you you you're really gonna jack up Albert Wesker Albert Wesker is literally the bread and butter if you can't get Albert Wesker right it doesn't matter Claire the girls are still gonna the the fangirls are still gonna run to this the fanboys are still gonna flock to this if you don't make Leon S. Kennedy look a certain way because like I said he's got extra baby face He's got baby face in Resident Evil 2 Remake. Leon S. Kennedy looks like a baby. And I don't know if they did that because it's like, oh, he's new and he's fresh face. He just looks like a child. But Chris Redfield and Albert Wesker are supposedly going to be y'all's bread and butter for this situation. And you did fine with Chris. And then you decided to let, let's, let's think about who, who did a decent job in Game of Thrones, but you guys really got dick on to play Re Albert Wesker, like Albert Wesker, really, you got dick on from Game of Thrones. Look at him. And I remember dick on from Merlin before he was on Game of Thrones. And he, I don't know what night he was of the round table, but he was built huge unless all the whole cast is really, really short, which I have no idea. I'm not going to look. I don't care. He is built tall. Albert Wesker isn't towering. He's not. And you got this guy who's like 6'8 to play Albert Wesker. His head looks like a thimble. He looks nothing like Albert Wesker. His hair looks absolutely nothing like Albert Wesker. Albert Wesker in the movies, which I despise for for Resident Evil movies. I like them for call it something freaking else. And how about you have your own imagination and stop just money grabbing? The, uh, the Albert Wesker in Resident Evil movies with Mila Kulovich or whatever looked better than this. This is unacceptable. His mouth is too small. His ears are too outward. His chin and his forehead are the same length. His eyes are too close together. Please, for the love of everything that is holy, like have eyes. Stop having people who are blind make these cast casting decisions. I don't, like you guys are gonna make a lot of money on this if you actually do something that's worthwhile and this is very subpar when I first saw this I was just like disgusted because I'm like Albert Wesker is going to be your bread and butter Albert Wesker is going to be the joker that you can keep on squeezing the milk out of the teat until it is nothing but dust if you do this right which you have yet to show me you even have the capability of doing it's pretty despicable these casting decisions, um, really bad. It's pretty unacceptable. 
Um, I have no idea why you even looked to that dude who's really tall to be Albert Wesker. I don't even know if he even knows who Albert Wesker is, what he sounds like. He doesn't sound like that. I've heard this dude in two different things. They were both medieval times things. You need to stick to that. You look like you're from middle middle ages or whatever. Don't be Albert Wesker. If these people had an ounce of integrity, if they didn't look like the person that they were going to be portraying and it wasn't something that you could easily fix like oh Nick Fury's not black in the comics whatever but it's still a good thing it's nothing that switches the characters um I don't understand why you keep doing it I don't understand why it keeps happening like stop like they should if if they have any integrity at all they just wouldn't take the job like just don't take the job you don't look like that like if what's her face Joan Crawford or whatever her name was took the the role as Harriet Tubman it would be a shame on her entire generation in her family if she took that job these people don't look like anything close to who they're supposed to be portraying what you need to do during act if you want anything at all look at hair Hairlines, eyebrow level, eyes, nose, cheeks, and chin. If the ch- if the mouth does not match, the chin will suffice. If you are looking at a man who has a chin ball. You find an actor with a chin ball. If there is an actress with a double chin and the woman that she is portraying has no double chin, I suggest you go find another actress. Claire is one of the only ones that's halfway decent and her face is flat. It's only because she's Anglo-Saxon that she can get away with it, maybe. Leon S. Kennedy is despicable. Jade's boyfriend. Jill Valentine. Mm. Ammunition. All I hear is someone putting another bullet in the chamber. Chris Redfield. The only savior. The only one that can actually... And then, like I said, he needs to eat some protein shakes. There are people on YouTube, on Twitter, on Instagram who have cosplay that are that's better than that's better than these castings. You can just look on like you, they're just lazy. And that's why you can't give them like so so parts not good enough. When people say, "Oh, you're just being this that and the other nitpick." No. Don't give them your money. Don't give them your money because you expect the best. That's the only way we can make change. Currency moves. Everything. Everything. If it's not good enough, just don't get it. Don't watch it. Don't promote it. Don't accept it into your life at all, whatsoever. All right. And it doesn't matter if this girl is Anglo-Saxon and she's just ambiguous because that's how she gets her money, being ambiguous but privileged. This Jill Valentine, it doesn't matter. They're going to look at her and think she's Jamaican because they're just uncultured. They're going to think she's from Bar- Barbados or something. She's gonna, they're they're going to just say black. And then they're going to look at us and then they're going to be upset. Even though we did nothing, we're not gaining anything. We we get no currency for her being on there. We get no, we, we get no representation with her being on there. Regardless if she's just Billy Eyelash, like Billy Eyelashing and looking like one thing and actually being another. It doesn't matter. It only matters what things look like. Because even, like I said, without a voice... She looks nothing like Jill Valentine. I'm done.